<laughs> a duct tape morning. Definitely one of the best projects I've worked on for the channel. It was the first fan film for duct tape that I made for the channel. And I've been wanting to do one for a while, and that was the first one that I made. And uh, currently it's the only one that I've made. Um, it was definitely a fun project. I think a lot of people liked it, and it was definitely a break from my traditional videos, which are, you know, time lapse and tutorials, and a lot of videos that are very similar to those two concepts. So the concept for a duct tape morning actually came to me about eight months ago. At that point, I definitely wanted to film a fan film video for duct tape on the channel. And the whole idea behind it actually came from a lot of messages that I get on the channel in the form of personal messages. And I'm not sure if they're serious or they're kind of just joking, but a lot of people will ask me, hey, do you live like in a duct tape house? Do you actually like, do you drive a duct tape car and stuff like that? Obviously I don't, but it was kind of an interesting idea behind that. So I decided to to film a video that was based around that uh, kind of idea of me encountering duct tape in my daily life a lot more than the average person. And that's kind of the idea that I ran with, this kind of fictional version of the duct tape stuff character encountering duct tape in his daily life a lot more and in very uh, interesting ways. One of the other motivating factors behind making the video was I was taking a digital video editing class at my local college at the time and I needed to come up with a project. There were three projects in that class and I had to come up with basically a project that was featured a lot of my own video content and I decided to film this video as, also as a fulfillment for that uh, part of the class, that requirement. And of course I showed it at my college and people really liked it and how that it really expand the idea of using duct tape because obviously those people weren't subscribers to my YouTube channel. They had no idea that I, was, I made stuff out of duct tape. So it was very interesting to them and it definitely uh, worked out pretty well. I did get an A plus on that project so I guess it did work out pretty well in the end. The music for a duct tape morning was actually one of the most difficult parts of the project but not in the actual uh, using the music phase, but more in the pre-production and kind of just, you know, understanding what music to, uh, to use. I really wanted to use kind of a, a light, bouncy, you know, track, music track for the very beginning. I knew right when I, when I, when I was working the project that I wanted to, it to have a really bouncy theme to it. It was going to take place in the morning. It was going to be like, you know, someone just waking up. So I wanted it to kind of have that kind of, you know, light, you know, kind of like drowsy, kind of mindless kind of feel to it, like where you are when you first wake up. So I went online and tried to find a good music track that, that fit, you know, that mental image of what I had for the music. And I went onto this one website and found this music track and right then, boom, I just knew that is exactly what the, uh, the music that I envisioned for for the project and that's the one music track that I use in this project. One of my major concerns for the music was that it was going to be a little bit repetitive. I didn't plan on using the entire, you know, two and a half minute song for the entire project. But actually, as I started piecing the different parts of the uh, movie together, it actually ended up being a little bit more than the music track. So that was definitely a big surprise. I expected the whole movie to be about a minute, maybe a minute and 15 seconds to just make it, you know, nice and small and people would enjoy it more if it was shorter. And it ended up being over two minutes long. And uh, that wasn't really my intention, but it seemed to work out pretty well. And I don't think people, not at least not to my knowledge, not to make people complain about the music. So at least it was, it wasn't repetitive enough that people uh, were distracted by it and distracted by, you know, for the, for the music rather than what they were watching on the actual video and me walking around the house. Another really interesting part of the project were the props that I had to make and unlike a lot of my other projects that I make on the channel like the tutorials and the time lapses, this one was a big difference because I had to make not only a whole bunch of different props but they all had to be totally completed. And that's a big difference between the tutorials and the time lapses because I'm actually making the item in those videos. Well, this one they all had to be totally made beforehand. So I made a whole bunch of different things. I made like a actual um, uh, kind of a bag where you can slip the uh, paper in outside on the mailbox. I made like a floor mat you could wipe your feet on. I also made like a do not disturb sign, kind of my take on a do not disturb sign out of duct tape. And of course a flower which the main character in the uh, movie actually sees and decides to put in water, which was a great little gag that ended up in the actual ending uh, movie there. 
Filming was by far the hardest part of the entire project because simply the viewing angles and a lot of the other things you have to take into effect like the storyboarding and just finding that right perfect angle. Lighting is a huge issue. I had to film on certain days that weren't you know totally overcast and of course filming on different days you have to work, worry about continuity and making sure everything fits in the right way. This was one of the first videos that I actually had to really had to worry about continuity and in my, in my tutorials I pretty much you know just make the uh, the item on a certain step-by-step -step basis and then I tell the audience what's going to happen in that next step or in between the two scenes. Well this one, there were no words spoken in the entire movie or the entire video, so I had to show exactly what was happening on screen in a step-by-step -step basis, but it had to flow in a way that it's never flowed before on my videos and that was something I really had to take into effect. Another interesting point about this video and actually making it was the fact that I was playing all three important roles in the, in the uh, entire video production. And that was you know, the director, the editor, and the actor on the screen at the same time. And that can cause a lot of confusion and a little bit of frustration because at any point of the process you're always worrying about a different part of the video. When you're filming it, you're worried about how it's looking, you're worried about how it's going to edit and you're wondering if the, the filming angles are right. There's no one you know, behind the camera to tell you, oh, by the way, you know, that looks great, move over here. You gotta go back, you gotta review it, and then you gotta you know, make the adjustments accordingly. And it can kind of work against yourself that way because you, you're, since you're always worrying about the different parts at different times, it kind of slows down the process even more. And, and if you're that, you know, the director, the editor, and the actor, you can kind of you know, end up fighting yourself based on which part of the video you really want to work on. Overall, I think there were a lot of positive reactions to a duct tape morning, and I think a lot of people did like it. I did get a lot of positive feedback in the comments box for the video, and uh, hopefully, if I get you know enough uh, motivation to do another one, I will be doing another fan film for duct tape on the channel, and that will pop up on the, the duct tape stuff YouTube channel eventually, which is great. And uh, fan films are a lot of fun to make. They're totally different from what I do on the channel, and it involves a lot of. Uh, other different factors like weather and everything because if you're working outside but it's definitely worth it I think and I, I don't think a lot of people will look forward to um, seeing me make another one in the uh, video so uh, yeah hopefully they'll like it